So, atomic theory. What do you absolutely need to know in order to be successful in an introductory to chemistry class? Matter is made of atoms. Atoms are made of electrons, neutrons, and protons. Every element has a different kind of atom. What makes them different? How you can determine which element goes with which atom? How many protons are in the nucleus? If you know the number of protons, you know what element it is. Okay? Now, electrons. The electrons are going to have a huge effect on how atoms combine chemically with other elements. So atoms from one element and atoms from another element are going to combine chemically. The electron configuration, where the electrons are, is going to make a huge difference in that. Electrons are all located in orbitals around the nucleus. Each orbital can hold two electrons. So depending on which element it is, determines the number of orbitals that are available and electrons are always going to try to fill the lowest levels first. The electron configuration is going to determine how elements combine and react with one another. Uh, atoms are going to always try to fill the lowest energy level orbitals first and then they're going to fill in the other layers as they go along. For all practical purposes we can always consider that the outer layer will hold eight electrons and atoms want to fill all eight of those spots. Once all eight of those spots are filled, they'll create another set of orbitals and try to fill those. The outside orbital set is always going to hold eight. And that's going to give us what is called a valence number. And the valence number is going to help us predict how things are going to react together. That might be it.